<laughs> show it, show it, show it! Come on! Do you really just burp? I tried not to. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And today's video, we are doing a food review. So, we've got some new stuff. <laughs> we brought back something from an old video. <laughs> we're trying out some built bars again, but anyway. Okay, so we're gonna be trying out a few low point snacks, just some healthier options that we have been collecting, and we just like to try them out and let you guys know what we think. So, we have a lot more sweet today, not as much salty. We only have like two or three salty things yeah. to try. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started. So we are gonna start with salty stuff first, but we liked trying a drink last time. I think we're gonna try to do a drink every time. Uh, and neither of us have tried kombucha before, which am I saying that right, kombucha? Kombucha. Yeah. So kombucha, I don't know what is so good about it. So this is what we got. Um, this is a lychee peach kombucha. I don't know, we've never tried it before. I don't really know what to expect. Is it bad? Oh, oh no! God. It's always the drink. Swear, right? It's always the right. drink. You have to do it slowly. Oh, so you're not supposed to shake it. it smells good. <laughs> it says swirl gently. Whew. Okay, so right. you're not supposed to shake it, Don't I guess. Shake it. Uh, I guess you're just supposed to swirl it. So it kind of smells like vinegar. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. We were able to stop it from exploding, so cheers. cheers. Oh, that's not what I expected. No. It almost tastes like a ginger, like a flavored ginger ale almost. It's very carbonated, which I don't know if it would have been like that if I didn't shake it. Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like choose to drink it, but honestly, carbonation has been affecting me a lot more lately. It makes me a lot more like bloated really quickly uh, to the point where like my stomach starts hurting. And I think it's just because I don't drink it as much as I used to or like pretty much at all. Price. It's not what I expected for kombucha though. Yeah, it's good. I need to look up like what the health benefits are. If you guys know what the health benefits are, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of clueless when it comes to it, but um, it's interesting, and I always hear people talk about it, and I always see it, so I've always wanted to try it, but, yeah. okay, that's kombucha. <laughs> we could sip on that while we were gonna, oh, and the Sweet. container is one point for the whole thing. We Wait, where's the, rating. oh, so I would give the kombucha a six. I was gonna say five. Oh, It's not bad. I can almost see you adding, like, alcohol to that. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean. I feel like it's almost kind of an acquired taste. Yeah. Oh, I think I did that too long. Oops. Oh, my. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of you suggested that we either microwave the Built Bars, put them in the fridge, or put them in the freezer. So we did all three this time because, to be honest, we haven't touched the box of Built Bars since we did our last video. And so I figured why not try some of this stuff. So, okay. So I went ahead and I just microwaved one for 20 seconds. And it smells good. It really does. So this flavor that we're trying heated up is the cookies and cream. Cheers. Cheers. I like that. That's a lot better that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. It's just as chewy, but also yeah. I think I kind of microwaved it too long. I think like 10 to 15 seconds might have been good. It almost tastes like a good brownie. Yeah, like that's what I was gonna like say. Brownie, it tastes like brownie. Those brownie cups you can get. That's actually kind of good. Yeah. Okay, so microwave the Bilt Bars. I don't know if that works for every flavor. I'm like going back for more, but yeah, I was gonna honestly, say I kind of. I like the chocolate coating on it. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it like melts. It tastes like a brownie. I don't know if it's just specifically that flavor. We know we can microwave the rest of them and we might enjoy them. Anyway. We did a double chocolate built bar. We tossed this one in the fridge. So it's been in there. Double chocolate. Cheers. I just didn't really like the flavor of that one. That one didn't have much flavor. The double yeah. chocolate. I feel like I'd like frozen more than refrigerated. Good thing I froze one. Boom! We have a mint brownie that I froze, which actually That's this one might be really good heated up. That one might be good frozen though. I don't know, as of right now, I like to heat it like up the most. Thing. But yeah, this is frozen. <laughs> Mint brownie, it smells good. Frozen, cheers. cheers. I think it made it chewier. <laughs> it is better frozen than it is normal. Uh, the fridge didn't make much of a difference, but I had it sitting out for a couple minutes, so maybe that's why. But honestly, heated up is the best. I think that mint brownie would actually be good heated up. Yeah. I'm very impressed with how much. That is very minty, though. No, okay, it's I, like a I like that, though. I feel like I just have mouthwash now. Ooh, yay. 
So thank you for the suggestions. Yeah. I have to say that actually did make them better. I would give the heated up one an eight. I like say, I would yeah. actually eat that for dessert. I might be able to finish this box if I heat them up. Frozen, I'd probably do like seven and a half. I like it like frozen. I say six. Fridge five. Yeah, fridge five. Yeah, I recommend heating them up though if you have them and maybe you aren't eating them because you don't like them plain. They're still just as chewy, but mm -hmm. they're good. Yeah. Heat it up. Next up, let's do a cereal next. So. Mm -hmm. I've heard some people talk about this and I've seen this and was really curious about it. So this is Premier Protein. We drink some of their protein shakes. We really like the peanut butter chocolate. Uh, this kind of looks like Special K, honestly. This is four points for one cup, which really isn't bad for a cereal because it's got 20 grams of protein. Uh, it's 180 calories for the cup. So if this is good, I mean, this would be just like a good snack, even to eat it like dry. I honestly prefer dry cereal. Um, so it looks like this. It's got little almonds. Mm. This one's chocolate almond. They had like a strawberry one. Yeah, they had, oh, mixed berry almond. So let's just try it dry. Maybe you can mix them together. So, oh, oh, <laughs> it's that? stuck to my nail. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so it's just got like little, little pieces like this and little almond chunks. So cheers. cheers. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. All right. It's really hard. It's chocolatey. I like that a lot. It's good. I like that a lot. It kind of tastes like Cocoa Puffs, mm -hmm. but like a healthier version. Yeah. But honestly, it is like really... It's crunchy. But it's like hard. It's not even just like crunchy. It's kind of like hard to chew through, so almost... I almost think that it would be better with milk. That's good. I like that a lot. It's kind of got like a vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. That's Chocolatey like, vanilla. I want to try the berry one too. I think I'd like the chocolate better, but... I'd probably say eight for that. That's good. I was very surprised. Especially because you can have a cup, and honestly, if I just put a, like a half cup of cashew milk in it, I think that that would be really good, and that'd be four points for a pretty filling breakfast. You could even add like bananas or something. Oh, that'd be good. I give this a seven and a half. It's a little, little bit crunchy for me, but again, I think it'd be good in milk. What do you I give said, it? I said eight. Next up, we have some RX bars. So we've tried these before, but someone recommended that we get the mini bars, and this comes in peanut butter, chocolate, and chocolate sea salt. So the peanut butter chocolate's 100 calories, the chocolate sea salt is 110. They both have six grams of protein and they are three points. So it's a mini bar for three points, but we're gonna try the chocolate sea salt. And I don't know, I like their packaging. It says what goes into each bar. So this technically is one and a half egg whites, three almonds, two cashews, one date, and no BS. So let's see. It's almost, oh, it's got salt on it. Yes, mm. not like the one bars though, but. Mm. It's pretty similar to the size of a verb bar, which a verb bar is also usually three points, uh, but verb bars are caffeinated. That's why I like them. I don't know. It's just like a regular, it looks like a chewy bar, so it smells like dates. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't like dates as much as I think. I kind of like that this one has a little bit of salt on it. I don't Nothing know. special. It's not very sweet. Now we're going to try the peanut butter one. But it is very Ooh, chewy, so like these are just as chewy as like built bars, I'd say. Cheers. It smells like peanuts. We were supposed to start with salty stuff, so now we're gonna have all the sweet first. But anyway, I don't know. The peanut one's a little better, but honestly, I don't like those. I'm mm. gonna be honest. Five for the peanut butter and four for the chocolate sea salt. I give them both a three, unfortunately. Yeah. They're very clean and healthy bars. They're gluten-free. It's just like... That very strong date taste, which I don't mind the taste of dates, but it's kind of overwhelming for, especially for how chewy those are. Yeah, like, they're very chewy. I would prefer a built bar over that, honestly, especially because some of the built bars are three points too. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's a nice size bar for like a quick snack. I'm not a big fan. I'm That's sorry. Right home about. I feel bad when I say something I don't like. All right. So we've tried these Z bars before. We tried the oatmeal ones, and they were really good. So we wanted to try the chocolate chip because we really liked them. I think we already ate the whole box. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so these are the brand Cliff. They're the Cliff Kid version, technically. Uh, these are baked whole grain energy snack bars. They are 140 calories for a bar, five grams of fat, two grams of protein, and this is chocolate chip. It is five points, so it is higher point for what it is, but the last one ended up being more of a dessert bar for me. Like I was having those for dessert because they're really good. They tasted like an oatmeal cookie, kind of. Good. So we'll see what we think of the chocolate chip. There you go. Got a little chocolate drizzle. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
Cookie. This one tastes kind of similar to the oatmeal one. I have to say I do like the oatmeal one better, but that one is really good too. I would give that, I mean, for five points for the size, we'll take it down a point. So I'd say seven points for those. So seven and a half. Yeah. It is a little high point, but like I said, I like to use it as like a dessert bar. So really good. the Z bars are good. I think there's one other flavor we want to try, but I like that. So that was it for sweet things we are trying today. We are now on to salty. I did it backwards. I, we usually start the other way around, but whatever. Anyway, first thing we're starting with is these tortillas that we found at Costco. This is La Tortilla Factory. These are low carb tortillas. They are one point per tortilla, 70 calories, five grams of protein. So what we decided is, cause we like to do our tortillas both ways. We like extreme wellness tomorrow. We've tried a few at La Banderita. So we like them cold, we like them air fried. So we decided to try these both ways. So we're gonna try the cold one first. What I did is I just put ham in a roll up and I just spread a laughing cow on the tortilla cause that's something that we would usually eat like that. Um, it's it's kind of like a little pinwheel. I was just about to say it looks like a pinwheel. Yeah, I could have added some like flavoring, but we wanna really see if we can taste the tortilla. So let's see, cheers. Cheers. By far, these taste the most like a normal tortilla. Yeah, it can't really tell the difference. This tastes like a normal flour tortilla. Yeah, that's insane. Oh my gosh. Like, these are really good. <laughs> By far, these taste the most like a regular tortilla, like mm -hmm. a flour tortilla. I give these a nine and a half. Seriously. 100%. I was, yeah. Like, definitely. It's close to a 10. A nine, definitely. So then we decided to air fry them as well. So one snack that I like to make a lot is like a chicken sausage or something just wrapped up. Usually I'll add some veggie mix, um, but since we're just trying it for this video, I just did a turkey cheddar sausage and toss it in the air fryer. So it did get nice and like golden, which is what we like. Nice and crunchy. And yeah, I did it for like six minutes. And usually that's what we do when we do our like chicken or sausage wraps. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I feel like the texture did change a little bit. Mm -hmm. I almost like them better cold. I was about to say that. I prefer all the other brands of tortillas air fried. Mm -hmm. So now we have one that's cold. Okay, so I highly recommend these. Like, I, I don't know, I might give it a 10. These, I'm gonna show them again just so you guys can find them. I don't know if it's only like a Costco thing. I've never seen these before, but I'm definitely gonna look out for them. These are good. Mm -hmm. And they're one point for one. Like I said, there's 70 calories and five grams of protein in one. So this is the brand Ocean's Halo. We actually recently in our last video tried their seaweed crisps. And I've been seeing a lot about these like types of like ramen bowls on TikTok. So when I saw this, I just thought even like the packaging was nice. I don't know. And I thought it'd be something interesting to try. So I haven't made it yet, but this is how it comes. And then it comes with like a little carton of miso broth. We're always looking for things that like Adam could bring to work as like an easy snack. For me, it's a lot easier when I'm at home. I can make meals a lot simpler, but I know that a lot of you guys are always looking for meals to take to work. So it says ready in four minutes. You open it up and it's got a pack of these noodles. It's got some vegetables. And then I'm guessing this is like the seasoning packet. So let's see how we make this. So it says, wipe the bowl clean before use. Break up the noodles into the bowl and fully submerge in the broth before heating. And then you add the vegetable packet. So let's do that really quick. This looks like little hair. <laughs> it's like really thin version of ramen noodles. So I broke up the noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and open this, this cute little curtain. Just pour it over. Oh, it's like a cream colored. So I dumped the liquid in and I'm just gonna, it says fully submerge the noodles. So I probably didn't break them up enough. Okay, so then it says add a vegetable packet to the bowl. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I think that's extra spice. That is? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oops. So it's got like little corn and like pepper and stuff. So you microwave it on high for two to three minutes. Pause if the broth boils over and restart. Uh, so let's hope it doesn't boil over. I'm just gonna start with two minutes. And then it says remove from microwave, cover with lid, and let sit for two minutes or until noodles are tender. So you take it back out, put the lid on, let it kind of steam, I guess. And then, oh, there's even like mushrooms in there. Yeah. It sure. says this is, I don't know how to say this, Tochimi Togarashi. I don't know if I said that right, but that's a little seasoning packet in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start microwaving. Okay, so I did it for like two and a half minutes, but it started to overflow. So I just quickly took it out and covered it. And now I'm gonna leave it for two minutes to steam in there. So there's that and we'll add a little extra seasoning. But then the last thing that we wanna try, well, we'll end with that. But the next thing we're gonna try is this cauliflower. So we like the cauliflower pizzas and chicken strips that they have, but we decided we wanted to try this. So Adam found these, they're Southwest breakfast scrambles. They are scrambled eggs with sweet potatoes, black beans, cauliflower, corn, bell peppers, red onions, and poblano peppers. It is 
eight grams of protein for the entire container, 170 calories, four and a half grams of fat, and it is one point for us because sweet potato is a zero point food. And so this is something that I wish I had these when I was still going into work because I would have eaten these. I liked the Jimmy Dean uh, egg cups, the egg white cups with turkey sausage, but these smell really good. So I guess we'll see how it is. Yeah, Adam thinks that before we had sweet potatoes as zero, they scanned as four points, but either way, it's like a good amount of food. And honestly, the eggs look really fluffy in there. The potatoes look good and it smells good. So what I did is I microwaved it for three minutes and then an additional 30 seconds. And then we just have let it sit. We're gonna go ahead and try this. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> The egg's actually really good, which usually I'm like picky about that. I feel like you probably think it needs some hot sauce. Yep. I would definitely douse that bad boy in some hot sauce. It's good though. That's really good. For one point though. Seriously. So yeah, it just comes like this and you can just microwave it. It comes frozen. Yeah, it's in the frozen section. Yeah. And yeah, for eight grams of protein, that's that's filling. Here, I'll give you guys a close-up look of what it looks like. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The egg is really fluffy. I, I'm like picking out the egg to eat it. It's very good. I give that probably like an eight and a half to nine. Like that's really, really good. I think it, like I said, needs like a little hot sauce or something. It needs a little extra flavor. It's not like crazy on the flavor side. I think that would be something really convenient that's still light. Like it doesn't make me feel blah like some freezer foods do. Um, it is gluten free as well. And like I said, it's a good amount of protein. So that's I give good. it an eight. Yeah. yeah, these will be good for Adam to start buying for work. I, yeah. I definitely can see using it. But even me, like, I'd even crack another egg in there and, like... <laughs> That's what I would probably do, too, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because you could probably crack an egg in there frozen, mix it up a little bit more, heat it up, and it would be good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like those. Okay. That's a good find. Good job. Oh, I'm scared to add this seasoning. So we're going to add a little extra seasoning. Or all of it. <laughs> or all of it and see if it's spicy. The container is still kind of hot, so it's kind of hard to show. It's just, like, a regular noodle dish. Uh, but like I said, I kept seeing them on TikTok, people doing these like steam things and stuff, so I thought we would try them. Okay, Sorry. cheers. Cheers. That's kind of spicy. That's got a nice kick to it. It's got a unique flavor, but I think it does taste very similar to just like a miso soup. That's good. I like that a lot. So that is six points for the container. It's got 10 grams of protein, 270 calories, so that's not bad, uh, and two grams of fat. I like it. I like it a lot. I would say like a seven and a half. I was going to say eight. I just love noodles. I would add right. an egg, egg to this. Oh, that'd be good. And it's really not like soupy. It's almost kind of like uh, just like a sauce on the noodles. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's good. If you guys see these, yeah, it's Ocean's Halo, and they come in this like nice little box. Okay, so they're vegan, and yeah, it's just like organic ramen noodles. I don't know. Something new to try, but again, another lunch that you could take to work. I think that you yeah. would like these at oh, work. So definitely. If you have a microwave, yeah. Okay, so that wraps up our food review video for today. What was your favorite thing? Mom was a tortilla. I gotta say tortilla. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. The sweets were, uh... That was actually like the worst That's bad. Right? No yeah. Bad. And the breakfast scramble was good. And the miso soup, yeah. Everything was good. We got some good stuff today. Yeah. So this was some new random stuff we tried. And <laughs> I don't know. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, let us know down below. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.